beautifully. You can feel that Happy Fat Tuesday is in the house today. Yes. Yes. If you are celebrating Mardi Gras today, I hope you get your carnival and king cake on. Yes. yes. How about that? Yes. yes. All right. So much fun. So, real fam, most important question, who's ready for some live girl chat? So ready. Make sure to head over to the Reels Daytime Instagram page and use the hashtag Girl Chat Live to join in on our convo. Aid's already there. She's standing by. Got you. And because Valentine's Day is tomorrow, I think we should show a little extra love to one of our fans and give them some money, honey. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, check this out. It's one of my faves, actually. It's part of our latest contest, the Reels Dollar Holla Back. Ew. <laughs> Okay, this is so good. So this is how it works. I'm about to shout out one lucky fan's name and Instagram handle. If you hear your handle, yes, you watching right now, mm -hmm. you have until the end of the show to message us back on Instagram. Make sure to tag us at The Real Daytime so we get notified. If you holla back at us in time, you are gonna win. Where is it? $1,000! Yeah. <gasps> That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. Okay, so you ready to do this? Listen up, everybody. Today, we want to hear from Ariel Johnson, whose Instagram handle is at Ariel's underscore vanity. Ariel, yo, if you are watching, head to the Reels Instagram page and DM us ASAP. Yes, and yes, yo, girl. if anybody out there is Ariel's friend, you know her, I don't care if you deliver her mail, tag her, <laughs> okay. get a hold of Let her, her and know. help her get this money. It's gonna sit here right for us. The sec or it's gonna sit here right for you, Ariel. The second we hear <laughs> from you, we're gonna break into the show and let everybody know that this money is yours. Damn. Come on, Ariel, call, girl. Call, 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 get that money. Nice. Nice. Now, <laughs> her family, somebody gotta win. Oh, somebody, okay. a cousin, somebody. Now, <laughs> speaking of shout outs, we want to give, give it up to former president and first lady Barack and Michelle Obama, who Woo! yesterday <laughs> had their portraits revealed at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. So awesome. Um, Amy <laughs> Sherald and uh, Kahinde Wiley became the first black artist to create official presidential portraits for the Smithsonian. What when asked that? what he Stop thought that. of Amy's portrait of his wife wearing a custom Millie gown, Barack said she did a great job, quote, capturing the hotness of the woman I love. Oh, love yeah. that. That's so cute. I love their relationship. All right, ladies, what you think of the portraits? What you think, what you think? Love you love them? Said they love him. Okay. You love him? All right. I guess I just got three more. Right. I, I like Mr. Barack so much. All right. I just got to wonder, why you got to put All our right. former president in a tree? <laughs> well, what it is, he's depicting the, the flowers meant something different. Um, one for uh, the flower was from... Um, from Kenya, one of the mm -hmm. flowers, okay. and another one was a uh, representative of Chicago, okay. and the other one was a representative of Hawaii, oh. and that's why you have oh, him is. in the, the, the bushes. Okay. You know, so. the, the bushes. It really looks like, like him. Gucci. No, it, it really looks like him. Yes. The there was, it, it did. I, I, I like the, the colors. It's allergy season, man. Like, just, <laughs> it's a lot of, but okay, I, I do love it. I gotta say, I okay, really love the Okay, let's get to the Michelle one. Yes. Let's get to the Michelle one. Three words. Let's just let's... what had happened? <laughs> what do you what mean? Do you mean? <laughs> well, it, okay. Sorry, round of really? applause if you like the Michelle portrait. If you, you, okay. No, no, no. It's not a matter if you like it. I'm just asking. Does it look like Miss Michelle Obama? Oh. Oh, okay, I was gonna say it real fast. It like Regina King. That's what I thought. It was okay, I have a question. Am I the only one that wonders why they don't look cohesive? Well, because they picked two different, two different artists. artists. I, and I know, but they couldn't have a conversation. Like, maybe these are gonna hang no. next to each other. Like, if in Mr. The Obama was they don't... in the bush, maybe she could have been, like, in a rose petal or something. Well, so, uh, I, know, one will I go guess they don't hang next to each, each other, other, so they'll yeah. be in two different places. No, they'll Maybe be there. Maybe one will go in his office, the other one will go in her office. They're different. They go in the National Gallery. They go in the National, National Gallery, gallery. gallery. and they're there. They pick two different artists. Both of the artists, they, um, both uh, Barack and Michelle, had not seen it until 
Monday wow. when it was revealed. So I wonder how they truly feel. Because sometimes when you know you have someone <laughs> expose a new painting and they're right there, right. you gotta be like, oh, well, you well, can't I help saw... it. You gotta, you gotta you fix your face. You know what I mean? Well, what I mean? I know because what I saw <laughs> was <laughs> so well. I don't know what y'all saw, but if you go back and look when they reveal, I'm just saying what I saw. I right? saw it too. I saw when it they too. revealed Michelle's, everybody was kind of like, oh, oh. <laughs> like. No, but the best way, did you play the video longer when Mr. Barack looked at his and then he looked over at Michelle? Yeah. It was legit like this, like, wow, great. You know, it's just, but this is the thing yeah. about art. <laughs> the thing about art, especially if you keep looking at the one that Amy did of, of Michelle, it's an interpretation. Subjective. Mm -hmm. And when you go to an art gallery, that's why you see people and you, they stand there and they keep looking and looking and eventually you see the beauty in it. So I think that um, I eventually love her hair. you keep looking at it, you'll see yeah. the beauty in it. I just think we were expecting something different. Yes, if I, if yes. I'm honest. Yes. We were expecting something different. I think the colors we expect right. to be something different. We I don't like that ashy thought. look. I don't yeah, like that's what the I'm saying. Ashy the, look. He asked what you guys thought and at Louise Honor Connor said, it looks like my 10-year-old did them. <gasps> they are both powerful, wonderful people, and these portraits don't exhibit that. Sorry. And then somebody I else... I don't agree with the... Uh, I think the Barack is nice, but... Yeah, then yeah, somebody at Ray Lynn Spence said, Barack's looks more like him than Michelle's. I feel like she needs more color added to yep. it. Yeah, that's what I but said. But I'm honestly but digging it. We should also respect the artist's meaning behind yeah. it. The right. reason why Amy decided to paint Michelle in a grayer skin tone. That was my question. There's wanted... some blue in there, too. Yeah, it, there is some blue. <laughs> Bluish gray. Yes, it's because she wants to remove having to focus on skin color. Let us okay. see each other, that we all are the same, that we don't have a skin well, color. Well, for me, we we'll put some color for me. I, I, I would have, but you know, that's her interpretation. Okay. That's, that's, that's and our interpretation. She did, um, she did put uh, Michelle Obama in a Millie gown, and that's something Which that I she love. would always, yes. always wear yes. while she was in the White House. So that's very yes. Michelle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. Well, this is what we got, people. And um, speaking of look, wait, 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 look wait, at but we do have to mention this though because it's important, <laughs> and this is the real. Um, there has been a, a bit of controversy with Kahinde Wiley. Yeah. Um, he did um. Back in 2012, on his personal Instagram account, there are a couple of, um, of pictures that he depicted. Mm -hmm. One was um, the Bible story told uh, Judith beheading um, her Lofernes, and it shows a black woman beheading a white woman. Mm -hmm. So you might start to see that, you know, being around. That was his interpretation of a biblical story. We just want to put it out there that we have seen it. It is up to your interpretation to it's decide awesome. what you thought he meant yes. with that, just like you, you know, whatever he meant with this. So, but we know that it's out there and we don't, we don't want to talk about it. We don't necessarily all agree with it, but we just want to let y'all know, the viewers, that it's out there. That's yeah. it. So, okay. let's move on. Speaking of looking picture perfect. <laughs> 73-year-old Grammy-winning singer Gladys Knight recently had to face some plastic surgery rumors she heard through the grapevine. Haha, <laughs> you get it? All right. <laughs> Gladys is, uh, in our, is an Instagram post claimed that her new look wasn't a result of plastic surgery, but simply a mix of God-given genes, clean living, and her amazing know. glam Let squad. Let them know. So nice and beautiful. I think it's important to show both pictures. Do you think Gladys has great jeans or a great doc? Well, first of all, the, the first, the photo, first of all, why they had to dig up that picture? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like Gladys was having a good day. It was a beautiful picture. Here y'all come. Y'all so messy sometimes. <laughs> Let Gladys be Gladys. Y'all don't do that to Jane Fonda. We don't see no old pictures of Jane Fonda without her makeup on. Why y'all do this to Gladys? I'm mad. I, I have to agree. <laughs> with Lonnie that clearly there is a significant difference in these photos, but I promise you, you guys, bad lighting. That yeah. lighting looks terrible. A bad makeup day. Mm -hmm. This one, she's glowing. That's a yellow light on her. That it makes her look amazing. There's some contour going on. Them lashes are beat to capacity. Her brows are a completely different shape. It's called these makeup. These things can make a huge difference. And Okay, and you guys know that I am the biggest J-Lo fan. I freaking love Jennifer Lopez. Mm -hmm. Right. But, you guys, this photo was on, on the internet, going around on the internet, showing J-Lo's face. And it's a true photo. <gasps> 
you guys, <laughs> we all know J Lo's skin is amazing. Yeah. She looks phenomenal. She hasn't <laughs> aged a bit. But Why that is that just a J-Lo? bad picture. I think everybody a, no, no, no. has okay. a bad exactly. picture. Exactly. Yes, of course. No, no. We're Look not at discounting the that. Look at that. Lighting is everything. Look at that. Adrian's right about that. <laughs> bad makeup can do wonders. But people, bags just don't pack themselves and well, leave their face. What's the excuse here? I'm just, I will okay, say look, in Miss person, Gladys, she didn't. In person, though, she Jeannie, didn't look anything like J-Lo that. J Lo didn't look anything no, like course, the picture on the right. I'm not talking about skin. Skin you can fix with lots of different things and lighting. You're right it about was that. Bags and wrinkles. You're girl. right about that. <laughs> I think Miss Gladys looks freaking phenomenal. Like yes. sick, sick. And but if that's 73, <laughs> I'm nearing 40. So if she gave props to her glam squad, Miss Gladys, I'm gonna need you to just hook me up with that glam squad number. I'd like to make an appointment with that Glam Squad. Hit me up. I'd like that Gladys discount. Glam, Glam Squad on the through. right. If that's what we're calling it, Glam no, Squad. No, I believe it. I believe that, yeah. that sometimes it's about rest, it's about sleep, and yes, there are tricks, and, and it's lighting tricks, too. And clean so. eating will do that as well. Exactly. And I you don't know when that other picture was taken. That p- picture could have been taken when she wasn't clean eating. She said, I know Gladys Knight, OK? I'm mm-hmm. um, open for her. Yeah. She's a very sweet woman. And I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes your beauty, when you're good on the inside, yeah. it comes out on the outside. Okay. And I think that's what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. She looks very, very happy. happy. Though. I have to ask you. Yeah. Looking at this photo, yeah. if you had to say she did get something done, what, would, what it be? would it be? I will tell you this. That First of all, I'm not knocking it. anybody to get something done. I've had Botox done. I've said it on the show. It didn't go well. <laughs> it out from I was it like, girl. It, didn't go yeah. well. it was so frozen. When Yo. she used to sit next to me here, I looked over, I said, girl, lower that left <laughs> eyebrow. <laughs> it, was, it was going up Wait, by itself. Didn't this I is real. It too? I this think is I so, guessed because it. Because I was told in Hollywood, you're, sometimes you're told you have to do things preventatively, and this is my real forehead. Yes. This is how it, it wrinkles Can we now. explain so what I Botox heard, is? You're not supposed I think to do sometimes it. People look We've it up done yourself, it before. But Botox, people will be like, oh, she has mad Botox in her lips. If any woman has ever gotten Botox in her lips, <laughs> she would be in not the hospital. Smiling. It would. She would not be smiling. It's impossible. Yes. You can't. Botox is supposed to be preventative, where it's actually a snake poison. You could Google it yourself. I don't have all the facts. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> and they put it most of the time in your forehead is the main place and it actually stops you from making the expressions that cause wrinkles so it kind of freezes it so that you can't see like right now i don't so see see how i have that number 11 right there yeah so if you don't want to make i'm i'm a new yorker so i walk around like this right i got you (laughs) yeah but see when i let go it's gonna leave a mark you see it i wish you could get close okay it'll leave so if you get botox yeah see that prevents you from making this expression that then will well, leave that And the reason right why there. my eye was all wonky that season she was one stuck. is because Mama Mai hooked me up with her doctor and did a Groupon 50% <laughs> off and jacked me in the process. Yeah. Swear, swear. Uh, uh, I didn't know this, but yeah. she did a Groupon and you I was like, tell me it was your friend. It was bad, it was, was bad. Was it an office or was it like one of those offices with above in I'm, a strip mall? Was I'm not gonna <laughs> rat somebody out who's trying to make a dollar, but if you hit us up on the ins- <laughs> on a, and that's the real daytime, I will let you know where not to go. What I will Dude. say is, in this photo, that doesn't look like a facelift. We've but, seen fa- facelifts be like, well, she yes. was talking like, about the bags. No, but, but here's she what I want to look say. weird. Bags, she though, are hard to cover with makeup. I, this, I, as a makeup artist, when you have super inflated bags, there's things you have to do to compress them because the skin protruding from your actual face, there is no amount of... You can put darker concealers, you can put darker colors to create the shadowing, but the actual skin baggage is hard to get rid of. Yeah. Either way, let's not knock a woman to do what she needs to do to feel good. I don't want to knock what you have That's to do. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Whatever so she got going on, it looks phenomenal. Yeah. We yeah. asked you guys what you thought if Gladys had good jeans or a good doctor. And at Denisha Shaw Day said, jeans, black don't crack unless you want it. Oh. Y'all have a sense of humor early in the morning. Good black Boom. don't crack. Yeah, exactly. Jeez. At Amor Rossia said, how about good jeans and contour? Respect a queen. Yeah. Or, because Oprah has bags. Oprah, yeah. you know, Oprah has yes. bags, yes. and then you would see that yes. lighting on her show. Great example. Oh. Shoot. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we get some money and we get that extra good Same. extra. Same. Same. Extra. Same. Extra. Same. We needed this. I so, love it. You know when we're in our bad light, too. Like, this is good yeah, we'll light. Yeah, we like, like over. Watch what happens when all of a sudden you go. 
back here. Do you see how all of a sudden she looks Why does it look like I'm, I'm, I'm Asian here, and all of a sudden I look like I came back from Jamaica right here. <laughs> Funny, bad light. Oh. If it, I'm sorry, have you ever tried to take a picture of yourself in like Target or a store that has fluorescent lighting? <laughs> or an elevator? The DMV. It's so bad. Yeah. They need better lighting. Oh my God. Yeah, definitely. Yep. That's why lighting is very, very important, especially yep. with the skin tone. So that's why I was saying, I don't think it was necessarily some yeah, type no. of lift. It was, yeah. cause that light was hitting her yellow. Like, yes, right it was there. like Bam. glowy. Yeah. yeah, so I'm like, go ahead, Gladys. I, I love me some Gladys. I love you know? it. Wait, I gotta tell I'm you this like, though. What I really think, I know I'm supposed to thank God for like my house, my family, and I do, but what I thank God for is the natural lighting he gives us, that magic hour. Yes, Ladies, if you yes. want the best selfie, leave your house between the hours of 4.30 yes. to 7.30, and you'll look like you will be so glowy. Yeah. So, it's so beautiful. That's why even girls now have ring lights on their phone. Yes. You guys, there's a reason for this. Lighting is important. Gladys Knight is proof of this.